Hello, my name is David Brook Martin. I'm a product manager here at CA Technologies, and this is my video about using Grafana with CA's application performance management solution. By the end of the video, you'll have seen it firsthand and you'll have learned the steps necessary to set it up for yourself. Why Grafana? Well, it's an open source analytics platform that accepts many different data sources. Because it's open source, it's free. You can download and install it either to use with CA APM or any number of other data sources too. Chances are that if you're watching this video, you're already familiar with Grafana. If you're not, don't worry. I'll show you what Grafana looks like and how to use it during the demonstration part of the video. Just as a quick introduction, CA Technologies APM or Application Performance Management is an insurance policy on our customers' mission critical applications. We can alert in real time to problems and anomalies often automatically detected. We can help customers find the root cause of the problems. We watch microservices like Docker, as well as the macro services like WebLogic, WebSphere, Tomcat. In general, we're improving the continuous delivery pipeline of our customers by providing detailed performance management statistics. And we integrate with a lot of other CA Technologies products and other companies at large. In this video, it's assumed that you have a familiarity with APM, if you don't know anything about APM, you'll want to learn about APM before you actually try to use Grafana with APM. So how does it work? First, a browser client built by Grafana talks to the Grafana server, which can be installed on Windows or Linux. The Grafana server then talks the APM SQL data source. This is where a, a JSON query from Grafana gets translated into a SQL query for execution against the APM SQL server. That SQL server, APM SQL server, talks to the APM instance, which collects the metric data that was requested and then passes it back to the APM SQL server. The APM SQL server returns a result set to the APM SQL data source, and the APM SQL data source streams that result set back to Grafana and ultimately back to the, the browser. In red, you'll see that the APM SQL data source and APM SQL server are slated to be combined together. Right now, in the customer validation process, we're having the APM SQL data source deployed in a Tomcat instance. But in the future, you won't have to deploy an extra component in order to realize this architecture. And just to emphasize, the browser and the Grafana portions are supported by Grafana today. APM SQL and APM are supported by CA Technologies APM today. The only piece of this that's new is the APM SQL data source. In the validation, again, this will be deployed as a web application in a Tomcat instance, but in the future, it will be part of the APM SQL server itself. All right, here's a Grafana dashboard for an application called Thieves. You'll notice that this is actually in a browser window. That's the way Grafana works. It's a thin client. I've laid out this dashboard to have a CA Technologies logo in it. And I've got the KPIs for my application, in this case, view, purchase, escape, search, steal, uh, all together in one chart to show which latency is the highest. So as I roll over this, you'll notice that Grafana gives me the measurements at each time period. Speaking of time periods, in the upper right corner, you'll notice that we're looking at just the last five minutes. But if I click on this, I can Go over any time range I like. There's a, a rich functionality here. We auto calculate the time zone against the GMT time that Grafana uses, so it should just work when you set it up. Uh, elsewhere in this dashboard, I've got a table. This table is a summary of those key performance indicators over the time period. So you'll see the time period that we've calculated against, then you'll see the volume of transactions, the average latency of the transactions, the fastest and the slowest transactions during that time period. Below, I've collected CPU utilization metrics, two CPUs on this system. I've got garbage collected heat metrics. And then there's actually a heat map of those KPIs, which is something you can play with. I'm still actually just getting my head wrapped around it myself. So besides a five minute time period, you can of course look at longer time periods like this 30 minute window or several hours. The longer the time period, the slower it will be to build the dashboard. This does not work like APM dashboards where it's automatically updating every 15 seconds. You actually have to set a refresh interval in the dashboard 
here if you'd like to see it refresh. If it takes you a minute to build uh, a dashboard for several hours, you can't set the refresh rate to every five seconds or you're gonna have bad results. So just a little bit of a warning there. But I have used this to display um, multiple days worth of data, it especially works well with the tables. If you're willing to wait a couple of minutes, it can summarize a week's worth of data or more. If you want the best performance out of these dashboards, you should deploy your smart store. Um, that's the proprietary data store for APM on a solid state drive. If you put it on a solid state drive, you're gonna get very snappy performance out of the Grafana dashboards. So how exactly are these configured? Well, we tried to make it as simple as possible. So here's a, a five minute view again. I'm gonna show you how I got these CPU utilization metrics into this graph. So I clicked on the graph name and I clicked edit. Now I get this edit area and it's gonna show me the time series that I have set up. I'm gonna to toggle into an edit mode to show them. Okay, here it is. So what I've done here, and now it shows below, it makes it a little bit easier to read. I typed APM SQL, and then in single quotes, I typed a regular expression for the agent. In my case, it was called thieves. Then in single quotes again, I typed a regular expression for the metric. If you're already familiar with APM, these regular expressions should be something that you already know how to do. Finally, I say, do I want the aggregate value, which means in the case of average response time, the average response time, um, or do I want the min value, the max value, or the value count? You do not, you'll notice, have to write SQL here. That's right, you do not need to write SQL. We actually create the proper SQL from these regular expressions for you to get the lines in the chart. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you set up a table in the Grafana to APM SQL integration. Here I've got this Thieves KPI summary table. I'm gonna click on it to edit it. And then again, I'm gonna to go to toggle the edit mode. So it's a little more visible. This is hard to read right here, so I've cut and pasted it out into this text editor. Here again, you can see that it's APM SQL followed by the agent regular expression followed by the metric regular expression. In this case, the metric regular expression is quite complicated. This is the way that you actually search for a front end without picking up any of its back ends. So uh, for those that are familiar with APM, they may have already used that. Uh, for those aren't, you can rest assured that all of the power of Perl 5 regular expressions for matching metrics are available to you right from Grafana, and that's because they're available for you from APM. So just a few quick notes before we finish the video. Installation follows the architecture I showed earlier. You will need to deploy a Tomcat during validation and the WAR file that we'll give you. You can contact me for that. Don't do it without the documentation. We already have documentation written up that shows you how to do each step in this architecture. Again, during the customer validation program, you'll have to contact me for the documentation. When this finally ships as part of the core product, the documentation will be on docops.ca.com. Quickly, I wanted to show you what the data source configuration looks like. Once you actually have all the software pieces up and running, in Grafana, you set up a new APM SQL data source by putting in the IP address and port of that Grafana plugin. So in this case, 172.16.5.199 is expected to be something like a Tomcat 8 instance where the WAR file is deployed. Finally, if you find any bugs or you have any enhancement requests, you need to contact me during the validation period. In fact, do that even afterwards. <laughs> Eventually, CA support will be able to handle this feature, but not until it ships as part of the core product. So if you watch this video and you're ready to get started today and it hasn't shipped as part of the core product yet, again, please talk to me with any questions or enhancements that you might have. I'll be happy to take care of you. Thank you for watching my video. We hope that you're a great success and we look forward to seeing what our customers do with Grafana and the CA Technologies APM data.